Welcome to Las Vegas Real Estate Now, where we believe in the three E's, educate, empower, and engage. I'm your host, Harvey Blankfeld of the Brown Blankfeld Group, selling homes in Southern Nevada since 1988. We are very proud to be part of the Real Estate Radio Network. Like them, we are dedicated to delivering timely, balanced truths about local market conditions. We not only share our experience and knowledge, but that of our expert contributors. In studio, we have Haiti Kasama, last year's president of GLVAR, and she's also a national director for the National Association of Realtors. Haiti, welcome. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Let's yes. talk about the condition of our local board, the activities that you guys do to protect consumers from maybe some of those who are misbehaving. I think that's an important topic right now. It is. Haiti, is there a distinction between being a real estate agent and a realtor? A realtor is a person that has joined the National Association of Realtors and subscribes to a code of ethics. They're held to a higher standard. We have processes in place to self-monitor other realtors. People can become a licensed real estate agent and choose not to become a realtor. We need to police ourselves. It's important. They would call me and say, could you fix it? And I say, I can fix it, but I need your help. I need you to file a complaint. There it is. Our lives are so busy, we don't want to spend the time mm -hmm. to fill out the paperwork. And we need everybody to step up and file those complaints when they're needed. What would you say is one of the biggest complaints that you heard about? Probably misrepresentation or not looking out for the client's best interest. Mm. If a client tells you, I only want you to disclose this information and not disclose the other ones, you're bound to follow them so long as it doesn't affect the value of the property that a buyer right. would pay for it. And I think it's important that our listeners understand that when you have an issue with an agent or a realtor, bring it to the board. The board is not there to protect realtors. They're there to protect the good name of being a realtor. They can go to the Board of Realtors and they can also go to the Nevada Real Estate Division. It's amazing what our association does provide. We have so many services, tools, we have great education programs. The majority of realtors out there are doing a great mm -hmm. job. Yes. And they're working hard yep. for their clients. When in doubt, disclose, disclose, disclose. Yeah. Nothing can bite you in the butt if you've told them in advance. That's right. We're the third largest board in the entire nation. Oh, I didn't know that. We have about 12,500 members wow. right now. And when we listen to what other people are providing in their services, we really are head and shoulders above most of them. It's an incredible association. Sometimes we take them for granted. If we were working somewhere else, we wouldn't necessarily have all those tools at our disposal, but it makes our job a lot easier. The Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors is heavily involved in the protection of homeowner rights. Mm. And how we do that is a very strong voice legislatively. We're the largest trade group nationally. And that is thanks to the realtors that contribute to the PSF funds, political survival fund. Mm -hmm. And it's only $45 that is asked out of each realtor right. every and year. Asked. We actually got a bill passed that eminent domain cannot be used to foreclose or take over mortgage notes. So now that's in our statutes for the Excellent. state of Nevada. And that is because of the work of the realtors and our organization and what we have done to make a difference and all of that is so necessary to protect homeowner rights, right. protect the ability of lenders to lend mm -hmm. in the state of Nevada. It would have been very easy for them to say, oh, you can get rid of my mortgage? Yeah, great, let's do that. Yeah. They wouldn't mm -hmm. realize no one's going to loan anybody money to buy houses Then you only have cash buyers. The value of houses go down pretty dramatically. Uh, absolutely. It would be devastating. How about devastating. the mortgage debt relief? Don't yeah. you think mm -hmm. that the National Association of Realtors fought for that? I would have to say it was because of our fight that we got that renewed again last year and the year before and we're still yes. working on it to get it this year. Explain what that is for listeners. Let's say 100% loan $200,000 and your home is worth $100,000 now and you go to sell that, you're short, that's why we call them short sales, $100,000 to pay the bank back. Once the bank has settled with you and if they've forgiven that debt, per IRS regulations, that $100,000 that's forgiven is actually considered ordinary income. The Mortgage Forgiveness Debt Relief Act said you don't have to include that in income. The reason we're having such a fight with it is because so much of the rest of the nation has improved. Right. The other congressional delegates from other states aren't as interested. They what don't have as right. much of an issue. Haiti, thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. Please tune in every week and help us heal the Southern Nevada market one home at a time.